Hi, welcome to this video on omitted variable bias. So, imagine that we want to know if uh, having certain type of infection or disease causes school performance to worsen. Now, we might be just tempted to run this regression here. A very simple regression that wants to test what is the effect of um, having this uh, disease on school performance. And we use a dummy variable that takes the value of 1 if uh, the individual has the disease and 0 if he doesn't. Now, we might think that we are estimating B correctly by running this regression, but there is a problem. What if there is something within this error that is biasing this estimate? This means, what if there is something within here that we can't see that uh, is uh, making this B being different than what the true B is? And thus, we're thinking that having the infection yields uh, an effect in school performance that in reality is not true. Because there is something else affecting the outcome when the individual has the infection. So we already said that this something that is within the error we cannot observe it. But what is it? Well, we can call this an observable that is uh, specific for each individual kid just X Think of this like, you know, uh, uh, characteristics that we can't really uh, uh, get data on. For example, uh, uh, socioeconomic uh, conditions of the family, of that kid, level of education of his parents, uh, and etc. So, uh, in reality, our model would look something closer to this. Um, in which we have, you know, separated some unobservable from uh, uh, the error that we had before. And uh, we call uh, C to the effect of those unobservables and, uh, in uh, the outcome. So, to simplify things, let's think of this X as um, the kid's poverty level. Uh, and the poorer the kid, the higher the x, alright? Now, just by looking at this, what would be the expected um, effect odd of uh, becoming infected? Right? What would be the effect of uh, this guy here going from being 0 to being 1? Well, uh, the expectation of the outcome given that the kid is infected would just be uh, uh, a plus um, B times 1, since we know that the kid is infected, we know that W is equal to 1, plus um, C times whatever we expect the uh, unobservable characteristics of this kid, uh, the poverty level or whatever, uh, uh, whatever we expect it to be, given that um, this kid is infected, right? And then the error is a white noise, so an expectation is just zero. Now we do the same thing for the expectation of the outcome, given that the kid is not sick, and we get the same A plus. Now B is not multiplied by one anymore because uh, W takes the value of zero when the kid is. Uh, uh, healthy, and B would be multiplied by zero, so it goes away, and then plus C times the expectation of um, um, the unobservables, the poverty levels, uh, given that the kid is healthy. Now we can just subtract one from the other, and uh, in that case, this and that will cancel out uh, 
this would just be B, which is here, and then this would go away, which is zero, and then we just have to subtract this from that, which we can rewrite in this form here. Now, since we want to estimate the true effect, this thing here is a problem. This is basically something that we don't know, uh, but we can have the intuition that is uh, biasing the overall estimate. Why? Well, because it's possible, it's very possible, that um, these two terms don't cancel out to zero. Why? Well, imagine that, uh, you know, uh, if the kid is infected, it is more likely that, um, you know, he has a high X, you know, that he has uh, higher chances of being poor on expectations. And if he's healthy, uh, we might expect him to have uh, low Xs on expectations because, you know, on average, he's going to be a rich kid. Rich kids uh, have their better access to uh, health care, uh, better sanitation, uh, blah, blah, blah. And that will mean that... Uh, Kids that are not infected um, are, on average, uh, richer, and that 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 could be a possible story. And of course, that would make uh, this uh, thing not equal to zero because this would be high and this would be low, and that would be a positive number. Now, this thing that is messing up with our true estimate. Uh, has the name of um, omitted variable bias. And ideally, we would want to get rid of it because, remember, when we run the regression that uh, we, basically, we basically have data on, we have data on infection rates, or like pe people are infected or not infected, and school performance, and we run this regression, uh, the problem that we would have if we don't um, do anything to correct this and make it equal to zero, this would basically yield bias estimates for B because there is something here. Remember, uh, we called it um, anoserables. We put the example of um, the, the kid's poverty level that is correlated with the fact that the kid uh, might be sick or not on average, right? So uh, think of the story of the uh, rich kids getting less sick on average than uh, poor kids. And that is a problem because this correlation would yield um, biased estimates of B, uh, biased by this omitted variable bias, which is something that we simply cannot observe. To see how to solve this problem, please uh, watch my next video, which is going to be on randomized control trials, RCT. Thank you.